The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word, that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them, until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house they saw the child with Mary his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, the church celebrates that moment so beautifully depicted in our nativity scene and basically every nativity scene in all the world of the adoration of the Magi. Very often when we see, as we see in our own nativity scene, and certainly I'm sure yours at home, you see those three kings beautifully dressed with crowns upon their head, with dromedaries, camels, and giving those wonderful gifts the kings, the magi, the wise men. Today is the day that those wise men find the child Jesus. We speak to them also as magi. And magi comes from a word magus, which means someone who has an expertise in what we would call today scientific things the science of the stars, the magi, the kings, the wise men, were followers of stars. And that's the first phrase I want to deal with today. They followed the star. They followed the star because they were men of science. They followed the star because they were looking up into the sky and they were looking even beyond the sky. But it was science and it was the created world that brought them to find the one who created the stars. That is one of the reasons why our Holy Church, the Catholic Church, is such a great proponent of the sciences. For us as Catholics, it's not faith or science, but for us as Catholics, it's always the both and, both faith and science, because both come from the same source and both lead to the same source. Those of you who know our Catholic history also know that what we know today to be hospitals and universities is a fruit of the Catholic imagination. Hospitals and universities did not arise from any other culture in the entire world, but arose from the heart of the church. Because Jesus Christ, the giver of all things, 
has given us the world created in all of its beauty which comes from God and leads to God. Faith and science cannot be and in the life of the church have never been enemies but companions. That's also in the midst of this COVID situation which we find ourselves now for these three years. One of the very first public figures to embrace the vaccines and to encourage the vaccines and to say very clearly in regard to social issues, social justice, that getting the vaccine yourself is an act of love and charity toward others was our Holy Father Pope Francis. Here in the Archdiocese of Miami, the very first person to receive the vaccine was the Archbishop of Miami so that he could also be a proponent of faith and science coming together. They followed the stars, they followed the created world, but they also were men of science knowing that that in itself was not the end, that there was more, that there was more. And following the stars, they found the one who made the stars. As Catholics, we're so privileged to have so many wonderful and beautiful things that help us to find Jesus. At the time of the kings, the time of the magi, the time of the wise men, they only had the stars. Which brings us to the second point. They entered the house. Because they followed the stars and the stars only brought them so far. They brought them to Bethlehem of Judea. And in Bethlehem of Judea, they had to go and they had to ask advice. They had to go and find out what's going on that we're not seeing in the stars. And even these wise men who were not Jews, they did not know the scriptures. They did not know the things of God as we know the things of God. They even asked, what do the scriptures say? What does the Bible say? about this star that we're following. And they submitted themselves to what the elders of the law had to say. They opened themselves to the more. Science brought them to this point, but faith brought them higher. And then they were able to find a place, a specific place, that place more or less that we have in our church, the beautiful nativity scene. They did not stay on the outside looking in. They did not just be satisfied, well, now that we've found the place, now we can go home. No. They entered the house. They went inside. They humbled themselves. They went and they found the one that the stars had pointed out. They humbled themselves, they opened themselves, and they gave of themselves. And they, as the scripture says, they bowed down and they prostrated themselves before him. They weren't looking for a Messiah. They weren't looking for a savior. They were not looking for God in the flesh. They were following the stars. They were following science. And following science brought them to faith. And because they were truly men of faith, that they knew the desires of their human heart, that they were not afraid of what their heart was vibrating when they came to that place, they gave of everything that they had before that child. They entered the house. Many times we want a full experience of faith. Many times we want to have all kinds of mystical experiences. So we say, I'm going to go to Mass on Sunday. And we go to Mass maybe one Sunday, we arrive a little bit late, and we don't feel moved to the stars. So we say, well, I'm not going back. And we don't go back. We don't enter the house. We hear all kinds of things about what the teaching of the church says. We listen to Pope Francis. Maybe once in a while we might get a, a meme on our Twitter, or we see something on Fox or CNN News. And we say, oh, that's nice. But we don't go any further. We leave it all outside. But in order for our hearts to be transformed as the hearts of the magi, the kings, the wise men, 
in order for our hearts to be transformed, we have to enter the house. We have to really get down into the life of the church. We have to live the life of the church. We have to be serious about the sacramental life of the church. We have to be serious about the sacrament of baptism for our children, like Emma, who is to be baptized today following this Mass. We have to be serious about our children receiving First Holy Communion. We have to be intentional about our children receiving the sacrament of confirmation when that time comes. And we ourselves, those of you who are in love relationships, you have to be serious about receiving the sacrament of holy matrimony. And when those difficult moments in life come and your physical body is beginning to fail or you're about to undergo some kind of a serious operation, you need to ask for the sacrament of anointing of the sick. The sacramental, we have to go into the house, not just from the outside looking in. We gotta get our hands, our hands dirty even with the acts of charity, to be really, to be generous, to be really caring for those that are in need. We have to be really serious about assisting people that are in difficult situations, to help them, to carry them, to, to accompany them in their pain and their suffering. You can't just look from the outside looking in. But like the wise men, we have to humble ourselves and enter the house. And when we do, the house of the church, we find the child. We find Jesus. We find Mary, his mother. And we find a new life. Which brings us to the third point of the gospel of today. They went home by another route. They went home by another route. This is not just navigational devices we're talking about here. They were changed. They were not the same men that endeavored to follow a star however long ago it was. They were not the same men at the crash of Bethlehem that had begun the journey however long before. They were not the same men that had endeavored to leave behind their families and their own homes to begin this quest. They were transformed. They had found the one who made the stars. They had humbled themselves. They had entered the house. They had given of everything that they had. Today we come, not only to this beautiful presentation of the nativity of Bethlehem. Today we come not only to gaze upon these three kings, these three magi, these three wise men, but today we come entering into this house and we find this altar and upon this altar in a few moments will be the child who was on the lap of Mary the same God in the flesh who those wise men found the same Jesus is here and now for us today but in order for us to go home from this house to our houses today by another way, then we have to follow the example of the wise men. We have to recognize that, the God, that God is the God of science and faith, that our church is a church that embraces the scientific pursuits, that we are people who must humble ourselves constantly and completely by entering into the house of the church and all of that means those wise men left to the child those gifts gold and frankincense and myrrh valuable things important things wonderful things from the created world but they left them they left them there they were free from those possessions they humbled themselves by having to listen to what other people knew even more than themselves about what that star was really pointing out. They had to put their own egoism. They had to put their own pride. They had to put their own scientific knowledge to the side to follow the way of faith. They did go home by another route. They went home by a better way. They went home as better men. They went home as better people. Today, let us do the same. Let us find the one who made the stars. Let us offer him not gold and frankincense and myrrh, 
but let us offer him our lives. And let us endeavor today to enter more fully into the life of the church so that we can be transformed, so that we can be renewed, so that we may be made whole. Wise men and wise women still seek him.